Welcome to Accounting in Focus. In this video, we are going to discuss another depreciation method. This method is called Units of Production. Units of production is not just used for machinery. It could be used for machinery. It could be used for vehicles. Right, with vehicles, we would use mileage, which that makes a lot of sense to me for a vehicle, right? Because the more mileage you put on a vehicle, the faster that it's going to use up the value. You could use it for a copier. Right, if you bought a photocopier or a printer, and you could use copies. All right, so there's a lot of different ways you could use this. We usually, when we think of units of production, we think of machinery, and that's what we're looking at in this example. So, if you look at the problem, ABC purchased a two hundred seventy thousand dollar piece of machinery on January first, twenty ten. It is estimated that the machinery will have a $30,000 salvage value at the end of its life, and it will produce 480,000 units. So notice, no years here, right? Okay, so that's one thing to take note, no years. Because with this, years are not important. Because if we, if we produce 480,000 units in one year, then we would pretty much use up the entire machine. Or maybe it takes us 10 years to make that many units, or it takes us five years. Okay, so you really have to look at the units being produced when you're doing these examples. Okay, so let's start out with our formula. And our formula for units of production would be cost minus salvage. divided by units. Okay, now when you're looking at units, okay, I want to be more specific with this and I want to say estimated units. Because here's the thing, right, I need to do a calculation and I won't know how many units we actually produced until the end of year four. But I need to do a depreciation calculation in year one, in year two, and in year three. I can't do that if I have to wait to year four to know how many units we're going to make. So you're going to use the estimated units. Okay, so let's calculate this for this example. So I've got 270 minus my salvage, which is 30. And we're going to divide it by the estimated units. Well, estimated units are 280 or 480,000. So divided by 480,000, and that equals 0 0.50. So you're probably thinking, Professor Ingram, that's not a lot of depreciation on a $270,000 piece of machinery. But this is 50 cents per unit. So this isn't going to be 50 cents for the whole year, this is going to be 50 cents per unit produced. Okay, so this just kind of gives you the rate that we're going to use. We then have to apply that rate against what we actually produced. So for year one, I've got 121,000 units produced times 50 cents equals, if we multiply that out, my depreciation is 60,500. Now I'm also going to keep track of my book value. We talk about book value in the video on double declining balance. Book value is cost minus accumulated depreciation. So in this case, it would be 270,000 minus the only depreciation I have, which is 60,500, which gives me a book value of 209,500. 
Now you might be asking, why am I calculating book? I don't need book for this calculation. Nothing says I need book. Well, here's the issue. Remember, I can't go below salvage value. So I have to watch my book to make sure I don't go below salvage. Remember, we estimated the number of units, but it might be higher than that. It might be lower than that. Okay, so we have to watch our book value. If it's lower than that, then we're fine. Okay, we stopped depreciating at that point. If it's higher than that, then we run the risk of too much depreciation. So I'm going to carry my book value along with me as I go. So year two, I've got 123,000. So 123 times 0.50 and that is equal to 61,500. If I take my previous book value of 209,500 minus 615, that gives me 148, 148,000. Okay, so now let's go into year three. Year three, I have 119,000 units of production times 50 cents per unit and that equals $59,500 of depreciation. My new book value 148 minus 59.5 is 88,500. Okay, we're almost done. Year four. Year four, I've got 120,000 times 0 0.50 is equal to 60,000. And if I calculate my book, my book would be 28,500. Wait a minute, my book can't go that low, right? My book can't go below 30. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, so my book value can't go to 28,5 the lowest it can go is 30, which means I can't take $60,000 of depreciation. If I take 88,500 minus 30,000, that gives me 58,500 of depreciation. Okay, so even though I calculated 60,000, that brought my book value too low. So I'm limited to $58,500 of depreciation. So in that way, units of production is like double declining balance. You have to watch, watch your salvage. Okay, so that's why I always calculate book because I think it really helps when you're trying to do these calculations to keep in mind where your book value is. Okay, that's all there is to units of production. Just watch your salvage.